What's up, guys? This is the Rafeman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's, well, my first episode, actually, of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Venice, which won our faction vote. So it will be world domination. It will be hard, hard. We've got two starting nations and no description. So let's get cracking. There's usually two ways you can go about doing this campaign, in my opinion. You can either go down the route of trying to secure the Italian peninsula, which is viable, or you go to war with the Ottomans, or effectively they go to war against you, because that will happen. Um, so first let's do trade. Let's try and secure trade and alliances with the Italian states and with Austria. Then let's try and trade with other people. Let's try trade with France, because we're a good Catholic people. Oh, that's everything. Okay, cool. Um, let's demolish the coaching in so we can try to get a university built. La fortidita e Send a rake over to Sarajevo to see what's going on. Let's bring all my si, ships back to Venice. Okay, so ministers. Treasury ministers, rubbish. Justice minister, plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one navy. Okay, so he's plus five treasury, so you're going to take that role. The army minister is plus one, plus two, plus three for justice. So you're going to take over the justice role. My, uh, my navy guy is plus one treasury, plus one, so he's plus four. Uh, yeah, take over the army, because we've got more of an army than we have a navy at the minute, and then this fellow can be evicted out of the navy. Orlando Strozzi, who is also not very good. Right. Get cobbled roads up in both of our regions. Let's... Pop up towards Governor's Residence. Build some conscripts. Venice. We're not. Let's build one. Eh. Let's build a unit of conscripts and let's build a fifth rate just to start to expand our military somewhat. So we've got some reasonable trade. Yeah, we can't afford to. We can't afford to go just a turtle at the start because then we will just get swamped we need to maintain a certain amount of parity with our neighbors <laughs> the ottomans have, left, have abandoned athens entirely so we might jump on them in a few turns if we could raise a small army in patras we could use a the army an army being raised in Venice to threaten Sarajevo from the north and split the Ottoman effort. That'd be pretty interesting. And if we keep our if we keep slowly growing our navy, and make sure we are booting that navy minister. Oh, for God's sake, you're all so rubbish. I can't drag anyone in, sadly. United Provinces in Spain, Portugal and Rathas. Two units of Ooh, plus one treasury, plus one justice. Is that the guy that's already in there? Pretty sure it's you, isn't it? Oh, is that... Wait. Yeah, Max, Maximilio Scipan. Oh, that's one of these guys, isn't it? Oh, I don't know who that is, then. Okay, let's get a school being built in Verona. Let's upgrade the Weaver's Cottage here in Udine. And we could kind of jump on it. There's no one there. Okay, let's... We need to split up our... I mean, there's no point splitting our navy nut up for now. But let's get two more infantry units down here. Then push back 
to Chugia. We knew this small army could go for it. We'll kick the war off a bit quickly. But we will do what we must. Okay, let's see if anyone causes any problems. Yeah, they are building their forces up in Sarajevo, maybe for an amphibious assault. So yeah, we do need to keep our finger on the pulse, so to speak, with our navy, because we cannot afford to get bottled up. Okay. Let's get another fifth. 2,400... Let's get a barracks built because it gets us more research points per turn for military techs. And we're going to be doing a bunch of military techs. I mean, yeah, you might just... Uh, you might get... You might have to wait one more turn and then we'll jump. Two more turns till our school is built. Get rid of you. Yay! He is a navy guy. Good. And our head of government needs to be booed out as well. Because he got morally impaired. Oh, you cancelled our alliance at some point. Alright then. Good, that will help keep us safe. Oh yeah, they're building an army, alright. They want to attack us. They want to send an amphibious assault. So I think we are going to, if we attack Athens, we're going to, we're just going to put it under siege. We're not going to try and take it, we're just going to force them to, to come out and get us. In which case, I don't think I want a military governor's encampment, because we're going to be getting Athens for its and, and its recruitment possibilities. Soon. Let's get a cavalry unit. Let's upgrade the smiths. I mean, this navy's not bad. Got another fifth rate on the way anyway. Recruiting. Uh, don't recruit a demi cannon. Once we get the barracks, we'll want line infantry. So I haven't changed any of my policies because we need to keep a balance between growth and money now. We aren't in a position yet to ease up on our tax policy. We are going to need to uh, tax our peoples fairly as we try and expand our empire. 600. State capital will take up all of our money, but it will be good. Uh, might be better off with the National Observatory. It's cheaper. And we get increased tech research rates and town growth, town wealth growth and happiness still. But there's our school. Let's go for a plug bayonet. And you chaps. Avanti e marcia all'istante. Okay, Ottomans. Cancel trade agreement. Declare war. Call in the Austrians. The Austrians have joined us, which is huge. Go after Athens. Hold for now. Gain more conscripts. You're going for plug bayonets. Okay, we've got a free trade slot now, so let's try and trade with Britain just to keep them, or try and keep them sweet towards us. Nope, they're not interested. That's not good. Denmark. Nope. Louisiana, we're a good Catholic people and we're trading with France. Good stuff.
Okay. Here is see what you do. The fleet may deploy. Although if you deploy to try and transport them, you're going to be in trouble because you've not got a lot. Of, your navy might not be ours. So you may be stuck up here. Let's bring my spy. No, your, my spy is good there to keep an eye on what's going on. Although they may go here, actually. Let's get some visibility on what's going north-south from Belgrade. Okay, let's... Let's see. If it keeps going like this, that's fine. I think I need to keep growing my navy to dissuade them from deploying that army by sea. Ideally, I keep growing my keep growing my army and my navy, but it remains to be seen what, if we can do that or not. I can recruit two of you guys. So I'd like to try and funnel troops down here to expand and grow this army to help try and deal with any of these troops in the pockets. Although, to be f no, actually, stuff you can recruit, slowly recruit infantry from here, but let's try and add more mass. Actually, no. Mm, no, line infantry better. Line infantry can do square formation and do lots of other good things. My minister, so we need to get rid of my head of government. Someone equally is not good. No trade, but the people we're trading with are very good. So, hey Austria. I'll pay you my entire treasury. I can't offer any tech in advance. Okay, let's do that. Payments. I want to. Oh, no, no, I'm already allies. I can't do access. Come on, someone's got to give away tech. I mean, I'll spinning Jenny. Yeah, I'll take. Nah, that's not not as useful. Social contract, sure. Come on, someone's going to have tech they want to get rid of for cheap. Canister shot. They really don't want to give away any of their tech. They don't need to be... I mean, yeah, I'll even take carbines at this point. I know it's because the offer is the amount is too low, but I need anything. I'm probably have to, I'm definitely gonna have to pay at least more than a thousand. Oh, the navy has not deployed against us, but it may deploy against Zagreb. have gone north they haven't gone south okay right so, so the reason why I like Sweden is because we're sufficiently far away well, let's do a swap square and plug and I'll offer a cool grand I don't, I, did, did we get it? No. That's <laughs> good. They were just rude. Austria tech. Let's swap plugs and canister shot. Swap plugs, canister shot, and offer grand. Because you're also at war. You could do with money and tech. A 
Empiricity? Yeah, I'll take that. For 1100, yeah. Because Empiricism is a first level philosophical tech. Adds tech, tech, adds to tech research rate, adds to growth. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Verona goes straight on with square formation, not canister shot. Actually, yeah, they're both, they're both kind of much of a muchness actually. Question is, do I just, do I just speed run fire by rank? And I might. Because I have not got a huge amount of line infantry. I've not got a huge amount of artillery. I've not got a huge amount of anything just yet. Let's build another fifth. Oh no, I do. Now I do want tech. So let's. We'll make some more deals. Plug square. Offer. Grand. Got to make sure I do these in the right order. There we go. Oh, for goodness sake. People really don't like trading for tech. France. I mean, carbines I want, but I don't want so much that I'm going to offer tech and payment. Ooh, that might work. Nope. Still not off. Yeah, buying techs and stuff sucks. Hey, wait, actually, we've got empiricism. Save up money so I can build, upgrade this to a college next turn. That's a good idea. Then try and speed run. Fire by rank. That'd be a good shout. Well, I'm pretty sure I can afford to build one line infantry unit. Poland's navy's on a grand and merry race. At least it's not transporting their troops to my lands. Deal with tech as much as you like, mate. We're not allies, but we're not foes yet either. And as long as the Barbary states are kept away from my trading partner's shores, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, they did try and steal my tech. Oh, well. There we go. I just have enough cash to upgrade my university. Okay, so they have gone back just to garrison the town. Interesting. Very interesting. Because then next turn I can boost my army a little bit. I mean we'll take we'll take Athens soon. So I'm just I just don't want to take away. any damage in doing so. And ring bayonets means I don't have to I don't have to um, deploy plug bayonets. That's fine. Military syllabus is kind of a kick in the knackers, but it gets us drill school. And gets us fire by rank. And then suddenly we're off to the races. We have a unique military advantage over the rest of our neighbours. If we can effectively stay alive and viable for long enough. Hey, they're going to sally. Let's come at me, bro. This army could, in due course, be ferried to Istanbul if I wanted to really take the war to the Ottomans. But I think I need to clear out and secure um, Athens as a territory itself first. Um, I want to deploy right at the back. I want you to be forced Leave your mortars behind, because your mortars suck. Everybody hunker down. 
to force them to come to us. And where are your mortars? Excellent. They are static, so they will abandon the guns and push forward with the rest of their army to their doom. Actually, they might not, because they that's their general, which means my um, cavalry will go after them. But you think right now, square, square formation wouldn't benefit any of my troops. Um, canister would benefit one unit of artillery. So actually, does it make sense getting those technologies yet? I don't have a reasonable amount of artillery or a reasonable amount of of um, line infantry to take advantage of that. I'm not sure. Whereas bayonets, yes. Bayonets are much more useful. Our Islamic swordsmen are pushing up. There are the bazaars. They're within range. We're engaging the enemy. Now you men just pummel them with a round shot. Cavalry and gen my general out on the flank. So we're shooting the machines out of those Islamic swordsmen. Oh, good. They broke, they broke just at the perfect moment. Oops. You man, put on your little, put your plug bayonets in, so I treat them as pikes. They're now effectively pikemen. core of the enemy's first effort smashed to pieces. And they are going to come back. There we go, they are shattered. They have returned. Sounds like they, want, they were about to do another melee charge. See, Cancer Shot would definitely have a benefit here, but in the longer run, I think we definitely just want to go fire by rank and slowly build up a infantry force. You're under mortar fire. So let's push cavalry up. General will go for their mortars. My infantry charge in, provincial cavalry tie them down. My gunners, unsurprisingly, did not take the melee attack well. This infantry unit did not take the attack well because I shot them. To the mass, the new men between you should knock out the Israeli. Do you have your little little duck stabbers engaged?
Go get him, General. Excellent, they're gone. Charge on into the garrison as well. Smash the mortars. Excellent. Yeah, we are going to continue, but everybody except cavalry just get out of the way. Keep my cavalry committed. We've got a couple of units we can knock out. After the fourth. Got him. Nuts. Still, good victory. Most of the garrison's been destroyed. There we go, battaglia. the city's ours. They've got a, one unit nearby that can actually do anything about it. We can occupy the port to make sure they can't, or they don't, deploy troops against us. So and now we've taken Athens, we've got a reasonable recruitment center. Good, you've continued to recruit, so you here recruit a galley to hold it. Get some of these buildings repaired, get the cannon foundry built, you chaps get replenishing. Hmm. Okay, not going to build roads yet in Athens. Still no extra trade partners. One more turn to ring bayonets. That'll be pretty big. Let's see it in turn. Didn't need to recruit a ship. We're going to move one down from Venice. Oh well. So we stabilize Athens and then move north, I think. So we can't get rid of the Barbary states in their port, and that's fine as long as they're in their port. Here comes Crimea. They're doing some raiding. Oh, the Genoese, sorry, not the Savoyard. I'm not trading with either of them. Okay, ring bayonet's done. I mean, you might have to start going for some of these, really. I can't, I can't just sprint all the way through. I'm going to have to do this a bit more balanced. Trade re raided. Hey, wait, why am I all the Crimean Cane? Don't want peace, eh? You may continue to replenish. Let's build the vineyard. You can be left fairly happily. Okay, let's move these. Let's, let's be a bit bold. These men move towards Sarajevo. They can be bolstered by these troops and then they'll take out the garrison itself. You're a bit vulnerable, but hopefully if we see something coming, we can respond to it. Some of our stuff's getting a bit raided. Okay, now I might I might keep going for Well how much is a drill school? Two grand. No, I am gonna I am gonna have to balance this out a bit more, because two grand's two grand's a lot of money. So
I need to build a bit of a garrison in Athens. Aha, they, they are aware that they are in trouble. And their navy is already out into the Atlantic, so they can't immediately help. Barbary states are interfering with our trade with France. 1700. To garrison to uh, build two conscript units. And you got okay, all the troops. Oh no, they're not ready to move yet. I need to wait one more turn. I don't think you can reach them in one turn because it's over the mountains. When you get to the coast, we'll pick up this extra bunch of troops, engage them, take Sarajevo, add another port into the economy. Plus nine growth a turn, that's okay. Excellent, plus two per turn to town wealth in home theatre. That's what I wanted to see. So my government's actually helping, or helping more. I mean, you're always a bit of a concern, because you might just dab us in the throat. Local contacts, plus two to subterfuge. So come to the Royal Navy, with no army attached, thankfully. Hoping to clear out the Barbary States. Here comes the Austrian Navy. Good, it would appear the forces of good. Ooh, Prussia has attacked Austria. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, there's a chance that Britain joins Austria rather than Prussia. I'm going to have to join. I'm going to stick with stick with uh, Austria. I don't want to be an oath breaker now. Being a war with Britain sucks, but hopefully, because Britain was an ally of Austria. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to see. Withdraw. So they're going to move south and west to link up with that army. They can't go west, otherwise they'll just get attacked. And they can't go east, otherwise they'll get attacked. Italian states are probably going to do some... Oh, they might... Ooh, I really hope they don't go for me. If they do go for me, then the Balkans are off. We're going for Rome. Because <laughs> we're not going to let that stand. No, sir. And chop. Cash him in. Pirate is going to pirate. Gentlemen in Venice. That's powerful. Don't duel their minister yet. Just go for it. So that's physiocracy researched. Let's go for I mean, lots of the okay. We just, okay, right, 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 right. Social contract is good. So let's just get it to get rid of to get all the local. Actually, I might get division of labor. So we can upgrade our port and potentially get more trade partners. Although twenty five hundred is a big amount of money. Um, hmm. So we've got a weaver's cottage, but we have iron workshops and another smith. So I might go for basic steam pump, squeeze a bit more money out of those. You men need to try and get it's unfortunate. I could, you could go for Belgrade, but I think Senor. I would just be trapping you in the middle of enemy territory. Although there is nobody here. Because you will, you will attack me. 
but I think I could probably I could deal with you. I wonder if I can just say Gib. No. Okay, maybe flee north into allied lines. You men go. Don't go for the city. Go north of the city. Then you guys can link up. Well, there you could now just go for Athens. Let's get a barracks built on Athens. Through another conscript. Get some repairs on my fleet. Physiocracy is great. Okay, good. If you guys combine, I'm hoping these guys will be lured back to defend the city. And then when you guys combine, we'll take, we can get, get we can um, siege the city and destroy the entire army. That would be the plan. Good news. All my ministers are good. Yep. Excellent. Oh, I didn't check if I was at war with Britain. Uh, I don't think I am. But we'll know soon enough. Go on, Austria. Keep the seas free of barbarian scum. Ooh, the Dutch are coming in. Well, the Dutch got Stra Yeah, the Dutch have Strasbourg. Oh, go, go, Gadget Auto Resolve. Take the fifth rate into our service. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. They might be bringing a general in to um, add support, but I don't think it will help them. See, it's because they... Because they've... Uh, Everyone else has moved their ships out of port. Now it's suddenly up to me to try and defend the port from these continuing waves of swine. That's going to suck up all my money for the turn, repairing all that. Two and a half thousand. One thousand six hundred. You you'll probably do some raiding and that is fine. Senor. You men combine. Avanti. Actually, I kind of want you to get in, so that's okay. Signore, and I have no money anyway. Eight hundred. Can we do anything with eight hundred? Doesn't look like it. We can do with our galley. Virare di bordo. Raid Thessaloniki, just to make sure they aren't recruiting any ships against us. No, don't forget these vi this down at Heracleon. That's ours as well. Let's see, 1,400. That'll help boost our income for sure. Although, common land enclosures would help Grade two of my farms, three of my farms, four of my farms. Ah, okay, so after you, it's common land enclosures. I improved animal. No, common land enclosures. That is the one. Good, good, good. See, so, yeah, I want you guys to go in there and reinforce Sarajevo. Because then I bought you bottled up.
Spain has secured the crossing and they've knocked out Morocco. More troops are coming up to Sarajevo. Oh god, go away! Go, go, gadget auto resolve! Abbiamo vinto! <laughs> I, when, I, when I can't trust myself to win the battle, I have to rely on the auto-resolve. I just have to. Especially as the Italians aren't coming in to help. But I'm going to need to spend some... Oh, go away! Yes, I will take you into our service, because we're running out of ships. So... Replenish, build a fifth rate, that's all our money gone. You're coming into hell. Do we go after them? Insediamento assediato. Maybe. Actually, one thing I might try to do. Al vostro servizio. Because if we sabotage, that doesn't really do anything. Try to take out their general. Damat Ali. So we got basic steam pump. Um, I am actually more convinced now about just trying to rush fire by rank. Because I think we could start getting bogged down if we're not careful. And we hey, will Mico, probably Sato fight this because they got lots of junk. And we got a lot of melee units. But we will deploy back to force them. Well, we, no, we can't really deploy back because they will. They are on the defensive. So we will have to attack them and destroy this force. We won't get it. We won't be able to get it. Um, replenished but we can merge and combine the armies and then we can move east towards Bosnia and slowly start to consolidate our hold on the Balkans not a bad position actually because my guns have a good view from up high Let's put the line infantry in the center. Three. You'll fire over their heads at that range, I'm sure. And if you do not, we we will cope. But yes, now our guys don't. They can they can engage in melee combat without. Um, losing the ability to actually provide traditional musket fire. Our general's going to get involved. Actually, everyone's going to be on the right flank. Just aim at that massive blob. Push in. Push in numbers. Push in. Push on mass. Fortunately, they are going for the pikemen. Daddy horsemen are a bit scary, but not majorly so. where some of these units are going to try and whip around the flank so these guys may swing left like this the core of our formation it's going to and everyone's slowly shifting right. 
Everybody charge the horsemen. Conscripts and so on. Don't push up so aggressively. Engaging the Delhi horsemen. Let's maybe pull my general my general out of there. And maybe throw an infantry unit in. Artillery engage the Israeli. Flashy bazooks. We're under fire. Pikemen involved in that. Okay, right. Now let's slow. Let's start to drive the line forward. This regiment of militia is going to get involved in the melee combat as well. Excellent. That's the Delhi Horsemen broken. Get on against the Muslim. Militia charge the armed populace. Advance. Artillery just slam shots home. They don't appear to know how to respond to us. Let's bring the provincial cavalry. Let's just bring my cavalry out. My pikemen are dealing with Muslim. Let's bring my provincial cavalry south. Actually, general. Knock out the Muslim. Conscripts push. Cavalry push. Artillery just slam home into the middle of the blob. forward. Okay, conscripts and so on. Get into the mix. You guys just keep firing the way you are, because right now just slam shots into the of men. And let's start to advance our line. Where's my provincial cav? Get them over here. Large enemy mass cavalry, uh, pikemen. Commit against the Muslim. Pike and push up because we're about to get into some more fighting. Shattered, push the cavalry forward. Go for the general's bodyguard, he's right there. Excellent. Okay, where's my Eichmann format? Where's my other cavalry? Charge the Muslim because they're already wavering, you haven't even charged them yet. They're just concerned because friends are routing.
E men engage the general bodyguard. E men advance. Charge the mod garrison units because they look like the only units left on the field. The enemy general is going to get absolutely butchered. suppose you are going to chase these guys down. We don't need to. But we, oh, now they're going to run through a town. Yeah, we're going to do it. So where is there? they got some surviving units. Okay, right. Just because you're a unit of Elite cavalry. Just pursue them. They'll they'll 100% route because they're routing through a town and chasing units through a town can just be chaos from a pathfinding perspective. So just chase them off the map. Get whatever kills you can. Gain a little bit of extra, extra damage and extra performance. Everyone go after the eighth. Oh, they're spread out nicely, so pathfinding's gonna suck. Still though, it's a good battle. Kill, kill, kill. It looks like they are probably going to route. Well, let's take one unit and manually focus on this piece. master out still though it was a good victory that's the that's the core of their strength and this part of the world just gone so let's combine our militia units and then disband this fellow 3200 we're up for next turn that's pretty good Let's repair the government building and then replenish whatever we can. You head southeast. Nice, that's pretty good. Let's take... Do we have any rubber ships? Not really. Nothing we can recruit. Let's hit end turn. Mm-mm-mm. Dookie, I think. I mean, yeah, they're going to raid. That's fine. We can deal with raiders. Raiders are frustrating, not critical. We can dispatch a small force to go and secure Sarajevo while another force goes south to deal with the raiders. Oh, go away. No, I don't want them. Yes, peace. Clear away, clear off and leave me alone. <laughs> a gentleman in Venice. Excellent. Make my research a bit faster. Okay, you've got a fifth rate on the way. We've got a barracks in Greece. So let's get rid of the coffee house. Because we're going to need... I mean, I'm going to have to... So what are you? Regulars, Israeli, Cav. Altro. Dispatch a force south. Crew like galley. Upgrade the Sarajevo government building. Build a mine. Iron mine. And... Oh, I can't build roads as well. Sadly. 
Can you men, if you leave, they'll definitely be rebelling, right? Minus one, that's not bad, actually. Okay, you men. Put Belgrade. I mean, that's an auto resolve, though, isn't it? Two mortars, wipe them out. Excellent. Excellent. If you're the Ottomans, you're suddenly going, right oh. How much money is that next turn? 3,400. Let's hit end turn. Uh oh. That's terrible news, however. Because it means Britain's coming to get us. That's what it always means, 100%. If you see a British stack like that coming at you out of. not nowhere, but. You know, they've got plenty of people to attack and fight, but they're going after me. It's definitely, definitely coming after me. Which is not ideal, and we don't have the navy to go and engage it away from our shores. Yeah, yeah, you can raid them as much as you... Raid the Italian states ports as much as you like. You trade through us. We trade over land, so that does not matter at all. Okay, you just engage them and... Una victoria gloriosa. Yeah, you better run. Marcha. The new men head east. Yeah. Let's recruit a general to run this ar army. Non possiamo, signor. You can't do anything. I mean, I'm just going to kind of... Ah, oh, they're going to cause a rebellion, aren't they? In attesa di ordine. Pronti! In marcia! Bring them under our control. So we've got military syllabus. Could build the drill school, but we don't have the money. Let's go for common land enclosures. I mean, we're not... I mean, Britain's... Yeah, they're, they're unfriendly, but... we you, you shouldn't be coming after us, Britain. I mean, we could attack them. Fifth rate, brig, sixth, sloop, sloop. We could. <laughs> I mean, I'd auto-resolve it, because it's an important battle, and I couldn't afford to lose it. Come on, Spain, why aren't you at war with Britain? You should be engaging their fleet, not me. Well, maybe you are. Maybe that's why they haven't moved east. Because there's an entire Spanish a mini armada there. Once I build a church school, that'll help classify Croatia. And then if they, if they spawn a priest, then we'll send them east. Hey, that rhymes. Then we'll send them east against, or not against, into Sarajevo. Yeah, again, we trade over land with Austria as well, so we don't care about that either. 3,300, 100%, build a drill school. We've upgraded the mine. Build the church school. Replenish these troops. Raid Thessaloniki but effectively push towards Rope Sofia. Everybody just try and replenish whatever you can. You're a real troublemaker. 36%, come on. Fuck. If we build a... If we build, oh, industrialization is going to cause some upset. But resistance to foreign occupation going down will be good. Church school will end up knocking out their religious unrest. I mean, there's a lot we need to do, really. One more turn for common land enclosures. Attack them as much as you like, Bren.
hey, they're near Bulgaria. If Austria's near Bulgaria, it might be worth taking. We'll get some extra um, allied support for free. Venice is completely unprotected. Common land enclosures. So what's going on? What's over here? Hmm. Right, we'll take it. Take it. Abbiamo vinto. It's ours, it is, and we want it. Signorsi, pronti agli ordini. In marcia. Uh, it's surprising me they are very upset. We're going to exempt them from tax just to stop them from being Servo upset for quite so long. Signore. I mean, how vulnerable is Istanbul? Yeah, sail around them. Fairly vulnerable is the answer to that. If you guys could just chill out for a second and we could mass some troops. Let's get two units of line here. Let's build them. Uh, do we build a mine or do we build a, build some farms? Although we can't build any expensive farms, we can only build the cheaper tenanted farms. Or let's build one of your cheap. New national leader, yay! Okay, I need to go sort out my ministers. Justice Minister's bad. Plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one army. So your plus five army, my army guy is just plus four. So if I move you to there, you to there, you're just plus one, plus one justice. I mean, you might be better off as the Justice Minister. Treasury Minister's He's a bit not great. Plus one navy, plus five navy, you're good. So this one, he's good army or treasury, because my treasury guy is not so... Oh no, although, to be honest, upkeeps, getting rid of upkeep, or m minimizing upkeep is good. Neither of you are... Actually, you're okay if you go into the head of government, you become four stars, you are just... Pious and like things the way they are. Sorry, matey boy. <laughs> We're going to appoint someone else who's not as good. Okay, so you've got common land enclosures. Uh, get on with social contract. Maintain our tech research rate. Although it's two turns for that to happen. Two turns to build the drill school. It's pretty perfect. Britain's gone after us, unsurprisingly. Let's see who joins them. Austria's joined us. So if they try and sail their troops to my capital... Ag. Curse you, Britain. A pox on thee. If, if you get Istanbul, Austria, I don't mind. I mean, I, I will mind. Spain's gone after us now as well. Oh no, we've got we've got borders with them. That's bad. Or good, because we're gonna go after them. Well we need we need fire by rank. Hundred percent. We need fire by rank. We need we got people we need to kill. Yeah, so Milan could come after us if they wanted to. It's 
pretty pants army though. So you, to get, okay, you're, it's annoying that they'll be built that in time. So you're going to go after Sarajevo. So let's fall back from Sarajevo to Belgrade. You traps replenish. Let's try and kill John Churchill. 16% chance. Ah, didn't get him. I know, I know, I need, I want these reinforcements to march on Istanbul. Because that, if we take Istanbul, we can, might be able to get peace with the Ottomans with that. I think I'm going to have to push it. If I can, if I can make it work, if I can do, make such a... Put, if I could manage to... Uh, Put them at risk. It may work. So I think the answer is um, in Venice. So you're going to... Hmm. You're going to go back out to Belgrade. In Venice, we're going to recruit some infantry. I mean, that's quite a spooky army with not a lot of... when you've not got a lot of firepower. There's no point going after their navy because they've deployed their their army. Yeah, I suppose there's no point necessarily... Rec well, it's, but recruiting does keep Milan at bay, but it's not super useful because we need it here. But if I go, the idea is if I go for Istanbul, I might be able to get a, tr a peace deal with them. Um, but it's looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers everyone.